Welcome back to Coding Shorts. This is Sean Wildermuth. This is going to be a really quick episode, really short, mostly because I've been using Visual Studio 2022 now for a while, and I'm frustrated. I feel like the editor is getting in my way, and I've spent a little time digging into the settings and how I can just turn down the help. Right now, there's a lot of stuff popping up, and there's all sorts of help to figure out what I want to do next. And some of it's AI and some of it's just traditional IntelliSense. It's too much. Let me show you what I do. So let's go ahead and start Visual Studio. And I'm gonna go with a project that I created, brand new project, web application just razor pages, nothing fancy, right? Just a small project. We come down here, let's talk about how it is out of the box. I have all the settings reset, except for the font, because I need to be able to read it. And when I type something like app.run, I get all of this. I get the tab tab to accept that IntelliCode piece, and then I get these IntelliSense pieces, which is a list of the members and a small block that gives me an example and description of the docs for it. All great, right? But God, it's so busy. When I know what I'm writing, this stuff gets in my way, and especially the IntelliCode, I end up writing code, accidentally deleting it, starting to write it and delete it because I maybe didn't define a variable before, or I'm about to define it. And this just gets really frustrating. I end up deleting all this auto-generated stuff if I don't do it exactly right. And so I want to differentiate these three pieces. So I sort of talked about this just now, and one is this top line, which is just the IntelliCode. This is using AI to try to anticipate what you might be doing and allows you to create it on the fly, much like GitHub Pilot that we saw in Visual Studio Code. And that's great if you need it. I kind of want to turn it off. The bottom section over here is all what's called IntelliSense. It's gonna give you these pieces and it's also gonna give you, let's say if I say map get, it's gonna also give you this little hint that's going to allow you to look at overload and what the actual parameters are. Now, of course, this is another thing that's quite annoying is I do want to do certain things in here, but most likely I just wanna type a string, but I'd love to see what the overload is and there's no longer a way for me to do this because of this pop-up inside the parameters. And so if I press escape, I'll be able to go up and down and look at them. But again, remembering this magic thing to let it stop and let me just write, you know, like I want to. And this is exactly the problem I talked about a second ago, is I want to do something, and maybe I haven't defined it like new foo here. And when I press tab, it shows me the form options. But I actually want to just say foo, and I go to new foo, and I press a parenthesis. Sometimes it does that autocomplete for me, sometimes it doesn't. It really feels like it's interrupting me. It's not slow. The editor isn't slow. It's interrupting me. And let's make a point. The machine I'm on is a pretty heavy box. 64 gigs of memory, hyper-threaded i7, 10th generation, all high-speed SSDs, not just SSDs, but really fast SSDs. None of this should be taxing my machine. On yours, all of this might be much slower. And the final piece I wanna talk about is the third helper. I'm gonna go ahead and open up a class file over here. And this helper is called Code Lens, and it takes a minute to come back, and then you start to see these hints about what is being referenced, and a lot of people like these. I don't. I feel like it's just muddying so much text that's on the screen already. If I went with the text as I usually work it, they're still there, but I'm like, do I need that? Do I need to click this? Like, I know the shortcut keys. If these are helpful for you, continue to do them, but we'll talk about turning those on and off in a second. So what do you do if you don't want IntelliCode? And this is the one that's probably the most getting in my way these days. You know, it's nice if I want to do endpoints and it tries to help me, that's awesome. But what if I want to get rid of it so that it isn't so busy? And luckily it's not that hard. It might be hard to see, but there's this tiny little button down here called IntelliCode Completions. And it pops up a option. And one of the options is show completions for lines of code. When you click that, all the completions go away. So you can toggle this pretty easily so that here when we do this, all I'm getting are the two pieces I find more useful, which is the IntelliSense. But if I suddenly like I'm writing some code, I don't know what to do with it. Let me turn it back on. Then I'll immediately get it back. And so it's a very quick way to toggle it. You can also assign it to a keyboard shortcut as well. There is none defined by default, but you can certainly do that. And so let's look at the other piece. 
So if I really want to get quiet and sometimes I just want to write code, like in many ways I do in Visual Studio Code where I have Copilot turned off a bunch of the time. I just want to be able to write code. I know what I'm doing. I know I've done the same code a hundred times. I don't want any help. The other one we can't turn off and toggle quite as easily, but if we look at tools, options. What I usually do is first just type in the search here, Intella, and the IntelliSense for each of the text editors comes in here as well. So depending on what you're using, but I'm going to look at IntelliSense. So show completion list after a character is typed. And this is what pops that list down that shows you the possible things you can enter. But the completion list in argument lists, I actually want to turn that off. I don't want when I'm putting in arguments that extra thing I have to get rid of. And so I almost always turn off this automatically show completion in arguments list. And I might do that in all options. That's really how you customize it. You can also see here that you can highlight portions of completion, show completion item filters, which I'll show you in a moment, and automatically complete the statement on a semicolon, which is kind of an interesting idea that many of us probably didn't even know exists. So by turning off the automatic show, I start to get something I more traditionally want. I'm still getting all this IntelliSense when I'm looking for members. And if I go map get, then all I'm getting is the overload, right? I'm not getting that big list that I have to get rid of and then just have the IntelliCode. And this is going back to the way it used to be before some of these benefits were out there. And if you're getting benefits, don't turn this off. But for me, I wanted to quiet it down. I don't want to stop it from doing too much, but I do want to sort of quiet it down. So unfortunately, you do have to use turning that on or off in the settings if that's what you want. And the last one, I'll go over to back here where I have the code lens. You could find this inside of the tools if you want, but there's a kind of a quick trick, and that is to right click on one of the code lens little references here. And you can just say code lens options, and it takes you right to it. And so I'm just going to turn it off. You could also get rid of some of these other pieces. Unfortunately, it doesn't allow me to turn off the references because that's the only one I really want to get rid of. The rest of them I think might be useful, but for my machine, I just turn them off. It goes away and I'm happier for it. I hope I've helped you look at some of the options for turning down all the help we're getting in Visual Studio so that you can be more productive when you kind of know what you're doing. Please, down in the comments, let me know if you have some trick that I don't see that you're using or, you know, what I do hope is you don't just say, well, you should be using ReSharper instead. I don't use ReSharper. I don't want to use ReSharper. Long story, you can search my blog for ReSharper. It's just not a tool that benefits me enough to not only pay for it, but even though, you know, they have given it to me for free before, but it is another of this heavier and heavier, heavier. Some of it's because I'm an old man and I used to just use plain text to write everything when that's all we really had. And some of it hopefully is useful to make you more productive each day. One last favor, if you could like or subscribe to my channel, that really helps get more eyes to it so that more people can be helped. This is Sean Wildermuth for Coding Shorts. Thanks again.